Suddenly, your Hisense Android TV keeps restarting automatically, shuts down, it turns off randomly, or even worse, it's stuck in bootloop. I can feel your frustration, as we have also been through this. That's why today, I'll share some effective solutions to stop your Hisense Android TV from restarting and fix the auto shutdown issue. There's two categories of this problem. First of all, if your TV turns off after a specific time, such as half an hour or 20 minutes, then it's probably because it has a sleep timer or power off timer enabled. And to check that, we'll need to open settings, go to device preference, timer, then make sure that power off timer type is turned off. Now let's go back, go down to power, and from here we'll also make sure that switch off timer is disabled. Now in case you have some HDMI devices connected to your Hisense Android TV, those devices can also turn your TV off. So what we can do, go down to HDMI control and turn it off. You can also try unplugging your HDMI devices and check if your TV turns off automatically after that. If the problem persists, then the next thing that we will check is our remote because sometimes your remote's power button may be faulty. To make sure that's not the case, you can just take out your remote's batteries and observe. If your TV still turns off, then let's try cold booting the Hisense Android TV, which can fix any software glitches that's causing this error. You'll need to unplug its power cord, wait for around 5 minutes, while you're waiting, you can also check the power cable for any physical damage. If your Hisense TV has a detachable power cord, then you can also try a different cable. After you're done waiting a few minutes, plug the power cable properly and see if the problem is still there. If your TV still turns off randomly, then this can also happen if your TV is not getting proper power. So in case your TV is connected to an extension cord or maybe a surge protector or any electronic devices, you should try plugging it directly into a wall socket or change to a new outlet. If you're still having the same issues, then the last thing that you can try doing is resetting your Hisense Android TV to factory default settings. To do this, you'll need to open settings, then open device preferences, about, then select reset. But note that resetting your TV will erase all your personal data and all the third-party apps that you have installed, but it's worth a try. If you don't want to do it, or if you have reset your TV and still facing the same issue, then you can always get in touch with Hisense support and they should be able to help you further. Hope this video helped you out and I'll see you in the next one.